I'm not feeling very well and I do have a teeny bit of a cold left over but I had to do this because my box came today and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the website that I ordered it from uh, before I get into the box itself uh, so I apologise for my voice being a little bit like because that's how I feel uh, but I ordered a box from The Village Witch, which do subscription boxes on a monthly basis for £30, which includes the postage and packaging, which is quite pricey. But what they say on their website is, these are not your average witchy monthly subscription boxes, as ours are mainly created with our own handmade and high quality items made in-house, including a limited edition item each month, as well as a few extra items too. Our boxes cover a range of items from different paths, including traditional witchcraft, wicca, hoodoo and root work, a great way to start a magical collection. When you subscribe to our magical monthly subscription box, also known as the Hocus Pocus hamper, which is adorable, you will receive at least £50 worth of goodies, including a selection, not all, that will be themed to that current box theme from the list below. You will always receive handmade blessed magical oil. These also handmade and blessed, so I'm not going to say every time. Magical ink, magical powder, aura spray, floor wash, herbal cleansing salt, loose incense, badge of the month, candle, treat bag, including herbal teas and sweet treats, parchment sheet with intro to the box theme and instructions. You will also receive any of the following, so these are like additional things, uh, make it yourself kit, uh, drink, uh, Trinkets, jewellery and decorative items, magical tools, stickers, other The Village Witch branded items. You will always receive an edible treat, which is lovely. Um, and at least one of the items will be a limited edition Village Witch branded item not currently sold in the shop. What makes ours different? We encourage you to fact find, to research and write your magic. We don't want to spoon feed you your magic that isn't personal to you. We want your magic to be your magic. Box item instructions are on our website with little ideas on how to use the products in the box to write your very own spell. You can find instructions and then there's a link. They also have a Discord where you can share ideas for future boxes so that they really like get feedback from the people who are actually consuming these items that they're sending out, which I think is a really cool idea. Uh, and basically, uh, it just really appealed to me because I like these handmade, homemade items more than like the mass-produced stuff that I was getting, like witch cast kit and stuff, which I didn't necessarily even know what it was for. It just was like a thing that they'd put a witchy symbol on, and it's like, okay, well that's cute, but why am I paying this much each month for it? And then there's some information. So basically, you subscribe through PayPal, and then you can stop your subscription by opting out on PayPal so I subscribed for one month and then instantly unsubscribed the payment went through uh, and then it comes out on the 10th today is actually the 12th and it arrived today so that's very fast it comes in like a plain cardboard box but inside a mailing bag that's like a grey plastic bag uh, which is really cool I don't really go for like the fancy printed box because that's just money that is going on a box that I don't need so happy with that and uh, we're gonna go open that box now so you can see what was inside okay it is box opening time uh, th this uh, came with a stick on it said make it yourself kit it, it didn't fit the box I've just removed a piece of cellar tape so the sticker's gone but it was taped to the main box um, which is just a plain box with a sticker with the logo on this is the logo you'll see when you found the right website for this by the way so take note. Uh, it says estimated uh, 1995 which is a long time ago and that makes me feel old. Uh, so I've decided to open it like this just so that you guys can get like a close-up look at the actual products because I feel like my camera isn't good enough for me to do like an on-camera face-to-face thing but then also have close-ups of the products which is the most important thing in the video. So first, uh, what should I do first? Ooh. I'll save this to last, and we'll do the main box first. So let's get in here, shall we? Quick off-camera sticker removal. Ooh, I say it's a small box, but boy is it crammed. Uh, so let's see, what does this say? This is a February subscriber box information spellcasting worksheet. Okay, so there's the cheat sheet of the stuff we've got. Uh, what is a spell? How to write a spell? Types of spell? Days, times? Some basic information there. That's pretty cool. 
Okay, and it even breaks down the total box worth. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so total box worth is £60.46p. Uh, and then I paid like 30 quid for it, which is pretty good. Although it does say that the UK postage and packaging is £4, which is weird because the, pack the postage sticker on it said £3. So apparently all of this packaging, like the box, this envelope, the mailing bag, only came to a pound. So that's pretty good. I like the, the costs being kept low. Let's dig in. Okay, so we've got a little bag of sweeties, a chocolate brownie, which... It's pretty flat. Um, uh, a Valentine's Day chocolate, a Kit Kat, ooh, some tea. That's going to Vanda, but I do like that this is like extra stuff. Uh, this isn't actually like part of what you're paying for in the box as an item, so I don't feel like I'm losing out. Point one. Ooh, oh, little bubble wrap. And these like little iridescent stringy things. Ooh, okay. That's exciting. Okay, I've been drawn to this. Okay, this looks like something they've bought. This is a tobacco tin that says love on it with a peace sign. And it does look like a little one ounce tobacco tin. That's, I guess, useful, but I don't know if there's going to be a point to this. I'm guessing the theme of the box is like Valentine's Day, love, that sort of thing. Okay, then we have this little badge. It's like a, an actual badge badge with a little picture of a potion bottle on it. I'm not wild about that as, a, as an actual like decorative thing that I'm going to like put on my clothes, but it's quite cute. And lastly, we've got a little heart-shaped Valentine's Day tea light uh, in these like heat-proof plastic things. So that's it for loose items. Hopefully all of this stuff will be handmade. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is actually plastic. I thought it was glass. And it says, handmade and blended Servitor Smiles Incense. Oh, handmade and blessed. I can't read. Huh. I wonder what that's for. Shall we have a look inside? Ooh. Lots of interesting things in here. I don't know that I can actually identify any of them. There's definitely a flower. These look like rose petals. Some resin. The leaves. I can't really smell that well at the moment, but it kind of smelled like Christmas pudding when I put my nose in there. Uh, so that's quite nice. And it's nice and full. Uh, I'm definitely going to be interested to read up on what you use this for. Because I know what a servitor is, but I don't know what servitor smiles incense would be. So I'll put that to one side. And then we've got these things, which I will quickly unwrap off camera. Oh, that took a lot. Uh, I didn't actually look at any of the labels or anything. I literally just ripped the uh, the bubble wrap off and then chucked everything back in the box face down. So I'm not cheating, I swear. So uh, let's look at this first. This is a little glass jar of salt. Seems to have little petals similar to the actual uh, servitor incense. And this is... Banish Toxic Love Cleansing Salt Mix. Ooh, useful. Uh, and again, a, a good amount of that. That's very interesting. I like that it's not all like love spell focus. That's quite cool. Uh, next thing I opened was the large bottle here. It's like a large amber glass spray bottle. These are reusable. So like even for just these bottles here, like the reuse of these is, is worth paying for the box. This is Love for Life Aura uh, Spray, and it says, Spray in the air around your home, workplace, or astral space. Uh, it can also be used to spray over altars, magical tools, mojo bags, and spells. Ooh. Uh, I actually do have an Aura Spray already, not from the Village Witch, from Dominion Luna Apothecary, which I showed in my haul from Witchfest Midlands last year. And I used that to just dampen a cloth and just, like, wipe over my altar so it smells nice, and it cleanses it as well, so... Again, a large amount of that. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, and I'm going to look some of this stuff up on their website to find out more about it. Uh, Family Harmony Floor Wash. This actually has like uh, petals and leaves 
sort of macerating in it, which is really cool. Uh, this is shake well before use, wash your floors and doorsteps uh, with the floor wash uh, base stain. Uh, dilute one teaspoon to one litre of water. Uh, it doesn't tell you what herbs and stuff are in it, uh, but again, a pretty good amount of that. I know floor washes tend to be more like hoodoo voodoo things, so uh, I've never actually experimented with them, but that's pretty cool. Uh, these last three were all wrapped up together, so I assume that they are sort of similar things. This one says self-love powder it is in fact a powder a little hourglass bottle not to be taken internally fair this is handmade come to me oil uh, again that's like a hoodoo thing i've seen in some of the books that i have but never made it or used it so that's pretty cool and this is handmade business love ink Ooh. That's interesting. Uh, so that's all for the box except for all of this heart confetti uh, and some of this like raffia type stuff at the bottom. There we go. Uh, and then we've got obviously this little uh, list which I'll, I'll, I'll go through at the end when I look over the website. But there's still this to open which is the Make It Yourself kit so I'm just going to pop this one open, shake out the contents and we'll have a look. I have no idea what this is. Let's have a look. Uh, what does this say? Hanging heart charm. Okay, so it's got this wood heart with holes in it. It's got some wool, uh, some little wooden hangy bits, some plastic beads, and this plastic needle. So let's have a look at the instructions. Okay, so this says that you can incorporate the aura spray, which is a cool idea. And then this is apparently what you make. Uh, so obviously the string is holding this other wooden heart in the middle and then these other dangly bits and you can decorate it in lots of different ways. Uh, right, four things you love on the leaves, one per leaf. This could be four members of the family, four separate families, friends, aspects of your life, businesses, pets, a mixture, etc. Oh, I see. I'm not going to lie, that, that actually looks quite cool. I might actually attempt to make that and maybe uh, wood burn it with my pyrography tool. So that's fun. Uh, so all in all, uh, we've got these like little extra bits here, which I'm not too fussed about. I feel like those would be like the main thing in like one of the other boxes that I usually get. But this stuff is really, really cool. Uh, and lots of magical supplies here. Lots of like value as well. Even like, aside from the products themselves, there's a lot of reusable items in here. The bottles, uh, the packaging as well, I will happily reuse. All this extra stuff, it's just... it feels like I'm getting a lot of value for that 30 quid that I spent so I'm, I'm, I'm quite chuffed with that and I'm gonna look up all of these things and uh, find out what they are used for and uh, talk you through that information that I find on their website. One last like parting note is I really love how even though it's a love themed box because obviously February Valentine's Day it's not focused on romantic love uh, so you've got like self-love, uh, family love, you've got love of business, you've got this which is like, a, I guess come to me love is like actual romantic love type thing. Uh, but then you've also got like dismissing toxic love. I, I really like how they've taken that theme and really widened it out and not just gone for like the basic stuff. Uh, so that seems really imaginative and cool and uh, I'm off to their website just to check some things out. Hello and welcome back. Trying to record myself on a camera with no front viewfinder now, so that's guaranteed to go well. Uh, I've had a little look through the sheet, uh, and it actually does give a huge amount of information, which is really cool. Uh, so next to each item that it says you will receive, it actually tells you how to use it. So for example, uh, the aura spray uh, says when you need to pick me up. So deploy when you need to pick me up uh, and when you want motivation at work or with hobbies you can use the business love ink and then on their website it actually gives really good instructions on how to use all items of that kind so for inks it says 
Our handmade magical inks are handmade with pigments, resin and essential oils. Each ink is handmade and blessed to order and can be used in a variety of ways such as petition and spell writing, writing on charms, amulets and talismans, writing in grimoires, creating sigils and many more. You can use a fountain pen, quill or even a stick to dip into the ink and write. Why not dab a few dots of ink onto a spell sheet to seal the spell or write a love letter and dab the four corners of the letter with the ink to add extra magic to it. You can even create a magic spell by writing out a check or cash book in the ink. Don't just think writing, think decorating, painting, dabbing, etc. Every time you use this ink, it adds an extra layer of magic to your spell. So that's really helpful. And again, like now I have this item, I know how to use it. And I know how to use it. Um, whereas I think in other things, they just give you something and you're like, but what is this for? So I'm really happy with that. It also gives the individual prices. So the Love Salt, uh, Toxic Love Salt, which is four pounds, uh, the Aura Spray 1299, the powder, the Self Love Powder, the Business Love Ink, both £5.50 each, as is the Come To Me oil, uh, as is the Serve To Smiles incense, and then the Floor Wash was £7.99, the Keepsake Love Tin uh, was one ninety nine. And I wanted to talk about this because when I opened this I was like, what am I going to use this for? And I was having witch casket flashbacks to that fucking little black nylon pouch that I was like, what is this? On the sheet it actually tells you what to use it for, or doesn't tell you, but gives you ideas as to why this has been included. So it says, write some little self-love notes to yourself, maybe in the ink, oh my god. Spray them with the aura spray and pop them in the tin for self-keeping. So it gives you an idea of a spell or a magical ritual that you could work with this tin. Which is a great, great idea. I love this like hanging wood charm kit. Like it's actually made of of wood it's like it feels pretty sturdy it feels like it's gonna look pretty cool by the time I'm done with it and I could always use like different yarns and things apparently this little heart candle worth 50p is a healing blessed candle so uh, I guess someone at the village which has actually blessed this which is pretty cool uh, the treat bag is also listed as a freebie and the badge it says is, is worth one pound which is kind of refreshing because like a lot of things like spooky box club they'll be like this badge is worth 20 quid and you're like what i actually think all the prices for these items are pretty fair and basically what i would pay from like other shops where i've bought things before like uh domino lunate apothecary which is really hard to say when you have a sinus infection um but 12 99 for that, I don't think that's like beyond the pale. I don't think the prices have been artificially inflated to make it look like the box is worth more, uh, which was my biggest worry with this. Uh, and also, at the beginning of the thing, it gives a little rundown of, of the theme and again reiterates that it's not actually just about romantic love, it's about all these different kinds of love, home, family, blessings, that type of thing. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, really happy with like all of this stuff and I will definitely get use out of it whereas if this had just been like a straight up Valentine's Day love and lust theme I feel like that's pretty narrow appeal not everyone's going to be into that but this has stuff in it which I think everyone is going to be able to use uh, so I'm definitely very happy I've just joined the Facebook group as well which is the Blood and Bone Tribe uh, so if you just find the Blood and Bone Tribe on Facebook you can join that and uh, have a look at all their stuff uh, which is pretty cool and uh, yeah I like the stuff that came in the box I like how quickly it came the price is right for what's inside it I really like the attention to detail in like it seems like someone's actually thought about the things going into this box clearly someone who is actually a witch uh, and someone who like cares on their website banner it does say staff by hereditary witches and lifelong root workers and I'm not saying that like being hereditary makes them better, but ha being practicing for a long time does, because it means they have that knowledge to like work on. And I just really like the transparency of it, that they've worked out exactly how much it costs and how much it's worth. Uh, and then they tell you that on the form. So that's a really a good positive point in my view. So a little bit expensive for me to get every month being currently unemployed as I am, but definitely something that I would get as like a treat, uh, to like celebrate my birthday month or something and if I had the money I would maybe get this every month although I do feel like if you always get a floor wash if you always get an aura spray you're gonna rack those up pretty quickly like 12 a year I'm probably not gonna go through all of that in like a year so it may be that they're just giving me too much stuff um and I would hope that they would like 
vary the contents a little bit just so I'm not constantly getting like big bottles of stuff that I then have to store. Uh, the little amber bottles that are essential oil sized, those are really good because obviously you get different things in them but they're not going to be hard to store places. Uh, but yeah, I am genuinely very happy with this box. Uh, I didn't see like any recent reviews of these on um, like YouTube or anything, so I think that's a great shame. If you're in the UK, and I, I think they do ship internationally as well, I would definitely check this out as a witch box that contains things that are useful for witches, like as opposed to just like aesthetic items or mass produced spell candles and things like that that you could just buy for like two pounds off of Amazon anyway. Uh, so definitely go and check it out and let me know what you guys think on Twitter or my email because you have my email it's all in the description box and uh, yeah I hopefully will feel better soon and in the meantime I'll see you in the next one. Bye!